this is this is a big day because after months and months of years, wow. years sorry, years. sorry, years of Dan saying that he's going to order De Camillo's bread, we have so, finally gotten some De Camillo's bread. This is a uh, hearth, uh, heart, heart. Hearth, hearth, hearthstone baked. baked Italian bread. This is uh, hearthstone baked. Hearthstone baked. This from is, Blizzard. This is baked in my hometown of Niagara Falls, New York. Now Z has also raved about this bread. That's a whole different story. Z and I had the Deacon Mills connection before, but it turns out him, his dad, and my dad are old friends from so, the seventies. From so the seventies, that, a whole other story. So yeah, like forty it, years ago, Z's an old family friend. So, <laughs> so we have the Deacon Mills bread from Niagara Falls, New York. I'm going to cut you guys. Some slices. I've been talking about this for years. I've been talking I'm, I'm excited. So, I'm allergic to wheat. You know, there are instructions you have to preheat. Fuck. Uh, a toaster oven. But kill a man with this. At 350 degrees. What? Wait a second. You have to heat this shit. up? It's toast. You make toast with it. It's like the best. I don't want toast. toast. Yeah, I want a bread. piece of bread. Well, then you can eat it raw if you want. It's ready to raw eat. Raw bread. It's ready to eat. I'm gonna make. I want some I'm gonna good make old some fashioned toast. raw bread. Is I want, what I want. <laughs> toast. You want raw bread or you it's, want? It's toast? already baked. I want more right, I, I want, I want some good old fashioned bleeding raw bread. I want the toast. Give me the toast. Here it is. Here it is. Watch oh. it be like outrageously moldy. All right. This was freshly baked, probably a day or two ago. Look at this. It's not hard. I'm gonna use the it's not utilize hard. the utilize the it's really touching this bread. Here we go. The, this uh, slow toast. zoom. Toast. He's getting the epic shadowy shot. Mm, and all no. of this Tico Millo's bread. Oh look at that texture. Man. Okay, damn. This is authentic. Really Cut away. Good. Get me a piece here. Do you want do you want a heal? Do you want a heal or a, I want I want the heel? piece after the heal, okay? okay so I'll eat the heal after, but for the first impression I want the you want the real thing. I want the real oh, thing. this is a, this is a darn sure really good uh, knife here. I'm glad I just bought this specifically for this bread. <laughs> Jameis, don't eat that. Don't uh, eat that, Jameis. Well, Jameis, Jordan, hesitate, Jameis. What you do with Deco Mello's bread, and we don't have any butter, I don't believe. So, what you do with Deco Mello's bread here? Let me film you. Is you stick. It, it comes with three loaves, and you stick it in the freezer, so it lasts up to a month. So we'll have we have two other loaves. We have, in there. Two, uh, we have two other loaves in there. Yeah, Ooh, man. If nobody's gonna be eating this, I'm gonna be eating it. Should I warm it up a little no, bit? No, it's, it's pretty good. It is pretty good just by itself. All right. I kind of got the butt in, so. Yeah, do you want an actual slice? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Jordan? It's very bready. It does taste a lot like bread. Yeah. Suspiciously like bread. That's pretty good bread. This is stuff I grew up on. Ezio. Stuff I grew up on. Uh, De Torre. Yeah. De Firenze. De Firenze. He it. Italiano. Here, let me, uh, let me, uh, oh. cut a slice for sure. Here, let me put here. the mic right next to my face here. <laughs> no, I want to toast it. <laughs> you don't want a regular slice? No, I want to toast it. Okay. I already okay. had a regular butt right here. Well, it'd be better with butter. Butter makes it better, but it's still fine toast by itself. What we got in the fridge here? We got, uh... Balsamic vinaigrette, maybe? <laughs> you could put some uh, Pepsi on it. Alex and Jack, <laughs> is that a good substitute? Pepsi? What about Mountain Dew? Mountain Dew? I don't know. Maybe like a bunch of Coke? Would you like a couple slices, Seamus, or just one? one. Okay, well then I'm gonna. I'm gonna put my next one in the in the microwave. We also have the toaster as well. Do you? Would you rather do the toaster as opposed to the toaster oven? No, toaster, toaster I think would be fine. You toaster want toaster oven? oven? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Heat okay. Up, so. yeah, I think it, I think it's about at 350 anyway. So you're gonna this? get one slice. That's uh that's for like if you're. A chicken or something. A chicken? How the fuck would a chicken do that? <laughs> what are you getting like hardcore shots of the bread here, Jordan? Getting texture shots. Yeah. He's gonna microwave are you serious? it? Serious? I can never microwave bread. I don't know. Jordy, it's just gonna make the bread gonna chewy. Terrible. He's warming it up no, slightly. No, just a tiny bit. I've done this for years, okay? I am a He's bread microwave connoisseur. That's perfect. That seems pretty peasant. That's perfect. Like, it's like it just came out. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. That I seems pretty low though. brow. I touched every microwave. Hands I washed my hands a few days ago. So we have three different versions. We have we have toaster, we have toaster oven, and we have microwave. Oh, that's that's good. Yeah. Mm. Can you see what I've been raving about? Do you think it was worth the wait? Because I've been talking about the ordering this bread for a long time. I ordered something. You no, know, I like think that. there's a lot of there's a lot of nostalgia that comes on your side. I don't know if that uh, makes it. It's not as grand as you might put forward, but it's pretty good bread. Is it darn good bread, Jordan? It's darn good bread. That's all, that's all I can say. It's darn good bread. Dern good bread. D E R N. Dern. D I C A M I L L O. Dicemellus. 
Are you, you are you ready for your toasted bread in about eight I'm minutes, ready. Seamus? Eight minutes? <laughs> it's going to take a while. Oh, there. fuck me. You didn't want the toaster. There's only one fucking piece in there at a time? But I'm doing the toaster. I'm toasting mine. Why did you turn that on, then? Because I forgot you about the You turned it on. I thought you were going in there, too. No, I would no, have fucking gone somewhere else. If no, I, I, I have a piece for you right here in the toaster, if you, if you want it. Well, I guess I'll come back in a week when that's done and eat it. So. Oh, oh no. Spicy meat toast. I'm actually going to get a slice just... Just like a really thin slice. Yeah, it's too much bread. That's a really thin, fine slice. It's got a hole in it. It does have a hole in it For because, again, it's you know it's artisan baked bread. It's not always going to be perfect all the way through. Since 1920, they have been producing Man. bread of artisan quality. That was like 90 years ago. I haven't had this bread in years. 90 years? <laughs> yep. Now, I haven't had this bread in probably. Five years. Oh, there's the oh, toast. Son. What the? Too bad James is still. How about you give no, James this? Oh. I am. That's what I said. This is a little over toasted right there. That's pretty over toasted. See what there, this Seamus. one is? Yeah, that's also relatively. Uh, that stuff sucks. I don't know about that. It doesn't suck. I don't want it. Go for that you one. You can have it. Go for that one. Right there. Look, it's, it's like yeah, half toasted toasty. right there. Because I had to do it long ways. I should have just done it. Looks too toasty. You sure? Looks too toasty. Are you gonna want the finely toasted artisan toasted artisan bread artisan? You know, if it was artisan toasted artisan bread, then it would be inside a fire, uh, like a brick oven. Yeah, brick oven's probably what they do. It looks a little toasted. Maybe maybe I'll take it like that. For over 60 years, uh -huh. three generations of the DiCamillo family have been baking unique Italian curly breads. Curly that's breads? That's called a curly bread. Curly bread. Anyway, the simple ingredients and the elaborate methods in making this exceptional loaf remain virtually the same. Virtually? Each curly loaf is hand-rolled, hand-formed, split, and then slowly hearth-baked. Hearth the gentle, hand-fashioned, and individual curling of the dough create its rich texture and delicate fiber-like quality. The hand splitting and the slow hearth baking develop the expansive crust, which is thick and rich with flavor. Yours is going to be amazing, Seamus. Yeah, get it out of there. It's going to be amazing. This combination be of crisp, ah, golden, golden. crisp golden crust and fine, dense texture enhances this bread's essential purity of the taste and makes it a wholesome and delicious eating experience. It's a time-consuming process, four hours from start to finish, of course, but upon tasting, we hope you will agree that they are four hours wisely spent. Jesus, four hours for bread? All right, Seamus, you have... Oh, that's a pretty this crazy... Is the golden... The, if you had butter, this would be the best bread you've tasted in your life. That right there. Mm. Look at that paper plate that's on. Fancy. All right. Now, I want... It's pretty warm, so be careful. I'm going to let it cool down for a bit. I can't. I have a sensitive mouth. They got a whole bunch of uh, Italian themed I burned it on hot baked goods, it looks like. You didn't tell us about this. Man, look at yeah, that. Yeah, well, generally when I'm ordering for my family, I order the I order the bread. I don't know if I've ever actually Italian scaletta bread. Biscotti. Uh, biscotti. It's off the Bianca Terrain. If you want this bread, it's orderable online. You just got to go to DiCamillo's website. Now you're gonna think people are gonna think that we're sponsored by them or something. No, they totally aren't. I just grew up eating this. But the thing is, it's outrageously expensive. Seamus, guess how much it was for three loaves? Three loaves. Mm. Fifty bucks. That's actually cheaper. It was forty. Oh, okay. Forty bucks for three loaves? Like, it's like thirteen bucks a loaf. Wow. It's pretty good toasted. A lot better than non-toasted. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, good. Yeah, I'm going to let you clean up this mess, and I'm going to go back to eat my uh, lunch. This was your lunch. No, it wasn't. He I spent 40 it. bucks for you to eat this bread. 40 bucks for that bread. 13 bucks a loaf. Have you ever seen $13 worth of bread? I have now. Today? I'm looking at it. Well, you get shitty bread at Walmart for, like, four bucks. No, it's like a buck. That's super shitty bread. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes kind of like cardboard. <laughs> this Where's is flavorful cardboard? bread. Yeah, All I'm right. Well, pretty good. Thanks Some for butter? watching our D. Camilla's yeah. experience that has been years in the making. Yeah. Sounds like the day I got here. It's the best bread in the world. Buy it, please. Please get some. Don't tell them to buy it. If it's that expensive, Dan. If you want to try good bread that I grew up eating, that's all I'm saying. So, expensive. So, yeah. Bye.
I'm wheat. allergic to wheat. I have a wheat now. Well, then you're going to die in heaven. <laughs>